I'm going to go real quick now. What happens if we know all this? What would we do? We could calculate a new course, new course, which would be called course to steer. We could calculate a course to steer based on this information that we have, and we could steer a course now from here to correct ourselves so that the current would bring us back onto our proper course line. And if we did that, and we, we do that every hour, every 40 minutes, every 45 minutes, whatever you decide on your vessel, then you would be able to uh, save fuel, save time. Yeah. Yep, at this point, we would do a new, a new DR. At this point now, yeah, we, let's, let's suppose that our, our, our desire was to go to that lighthouse on this island over here, whatever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. That's where we're headed. So we would definitely, we would then, on our, on our chart, we would figure out a new course, Okay, whatever it might be, we'd roll it to the compass rows. I don't know what that would be. Maybe 120 degrees or 125 degrees, whatever it is. All right. Our speed might stay the same, five knots. We'd get our distance. We'd get an ETA to get there. You know. But if I knew ahead of time, I would steer higher and let the current bring me back down. All right. So to do a course to steer, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, I'm going to race this. We're going to use the information we have. If I knew what the set and the drift of the current were, if I know the course that I want to make good is, let's say, for example, this 125 now, okay, and I know what my speed is, I can go to a compass rose. This is getting ahead of ourselves, but I can go to a compass rose. It's an odd-shaped compass rose, but you're getting, you're getting me ahead of where I am, but you know what? Life is good. 9 4 is 13. You know, it's really funny. Every time I do this, I have to uh, add them in my head. You'd think I would remember. Okay, so here's the compass rose. Course to steer. What course would I steer to make good to get to, to be on course of 125? Well, I have four items. I have my course, my speed, my set, and my drift. So my course, I'm going to draw my course on the compass rose, 125 degrees. And course is always drawn in a solid line. That's your course to make good? That's the course I want to make good, 125, all right, mm -hmm. to get to that light. Set is the next thing I draw. Set is always drawn with a dotted line, right? Mm -hmm. What's the set, the direction the current's flowing? Set set. 220. Yeah. So I draw from the compass rows, 220 degrees dotted line. Okay. Right okay. Ship. Speed. The speed of the drift. How fast is the current running? It's running at 0.8 knots. For the sake of course to steer, base everything on an hour because it's easy. You control it, base it on an hour. So how far would I go in an hour at 0.8 knots? Eight miles. 0.8 miles, right? So I take off the side 0.8 miles. I take my handy dandy divider, I put 0.8 miles, and I say 0.8 miles from here to here, 0.8 miles. How fast, what's my RPM speed? How fast am I trying to go with my vessel? Five knots. How far would I go in one hour at five knots? Five miles. I get five miles on my dividers, I take the pointy end and I put the pointy end right here, and I take the other end, and I make a line on the course that I want to make good. I take now, and I connect these lines. And then I take that and run it up through the compass rows parallel to the lines that I just drew. And where that comes through and touches the compass rows is the course that I would steer, 0, 9, 5, for the sake of discussion, would be my course to steer. So now, I come over here on my, my boat, and I steer 095, and I steer that for an hour, and over that hour at 8.8 .8 knots, what's the current doing? Pushing. It's pushing me back on course, and in an hour, I should be somewhere on that line or pretty darn close to it. So I've used the current, I've used what I learned, I used my set and drift to my advantage. Now I'm going to... 
I'm going to make that, that little arc. It's not going to be a straight line because the current's going to push me. I'm going to steer here and I'm going to get pushed down, but I'm going to get myself somewhere on that line. And in an hour or 40 minutes, whatever you decided with your, with your crew and your captain, however often you want to do a DR, you're going to do another DR. And you're going to figure out what's my next course to steer going to be. And you're going to plug your way along. But if you do that every so often, you're not going to be too far off course. Because if we didn't do it, we just kept going, we're going to be further and further off course. And now we're going to have to make a major adjustment to get back to our destination. So now, every so often, I'm, I'm going to kind of zigzag tack my way, if you will, along my course line. But I'm going to let the current help me along. 